So I wanted to cut this video because now that you've got the appointment set up for the free coaching session, the question comes down to be, okay, how do you run a free coaching session? Well, having done hundreds of free coaching sessions and wasting a ton of time in the beginning, I finally learned the proper way to do a free coaching session because people will coach with you if you give them value. It's not about solving their problem. Let me say that again. People will coach with you if you give them something of value, not because you solve their problem. See, the tendency when you give somebody a free coaching session is to solve their immediate problem. But in reality, what, what happens, what I've discovered after doing lots and lots of coaching sessions, is until you find out where somebody really wants to go and why they want to solve the problem, it doesn't matter how they solve the problem. Why is way more important than how. If I've got a very crystal clear picture of what someone's why is, then I can coach them towards that why. And they're going to go through the work. They're going to do the work. They're going to, they're going to take the effort to hit, to do and do all the things that you're telling them to do. Without their why, the moment you solve, you know, in their mind they have a lead generation problem, and the moment you solve their lead generation problem, there's no more reason to coach. And most people never succeed at a very high level because they're, they're majoring on the, on the minors. They're not majoring on the minors. They're, they're so narrow focused on their problem. I gotta solve my problem. I gotta solve my problem. And what they don't understand is their main problem is they don't know where they're going. And when you find out where someone's going, then you can help them get there. The key to this system working is you've got to care. And so if you get somebody on the phone and the only reason you're on the phone with them is to, to, to get paid, then you may want to get off the phone and, and get that fixed for yourself before you hop on the phone, because coaching is one of those things is you got to genuinely care. See, all of my clients, they know. I, I care about them. I care about where they're going. I care about their results. I care about, you know, showing up on that call and really laser focusing on their problem. No distractions or anything. And that comes across, especially when you're on the phone with somebody. So let's hop right into it. I've got my free coaching session. It's set up. And now I'm going to get Joe on the phone, and I'm on the line with him with the free coaching session. So basically, there are certain components to the free coaching session. So the phone is your best friend. Now, you can do Skype, which is also cool. You can do Google Hangout, which is also cool. Okay, But what it comes down to is I need to treat the, first coaching, the free coaching session as if it's a doctor's appointment as if they're coming in for a physical. And without the physical touching, I need to ask a bunch of questions to find out what their current situation is. So the current situation, if you can see this, let me get it right here, okay? So the current situation, I always have a notepad. And what I do is I take a note of what their current situation is, and I want to know certain things. Number one, what is their current resources? And so I get Joe on the phone, I go, first of all, I start off with an agenda script, okay? The agenda script goes like this. Hey, Joe, are you ready for your free coaching session? I get Joe on the phone, I go, hey, Joe, John Pyron, how are you? Fantastic. Hey, I'm calling for our coaching session. Are you ready for that? Fantastic, okay. Here's how it's gonna go, Joe, is I've got a, a, a bunch of questions. In preparation for our meeting today, I've, I've created a bunch of questions that are designed to help me to get to know you better. Get to the, and they're also designed to help me get to understand what your current situation is, what your current challenges are, ultimately where you want to go, go with your dreams and your goals. And then I'm going to give you some coaching and give you at least one or two ideas that can help your current situation, both short-term and long-term. If at the end, both of us feel like we're a fit, right? Because this is kind of, uh, you know, you interviewing me 
and me interviewing you because I'm only looking to fill two slots right now. And so if both of us feel that we're a fit at the end, then I'll explain how my ongoing coaching program works. And if it's a fit for you, um, you'll have an opportunity to become a client. If not, it's no big deal. How does that sound for an agenda today? Fantastic. And so he's going to say yes to that. And then what you want to do is you very specific questions. And on my sheet of paper here, basically what it says, okay, I write down on my left-hand side, current situation. I need to understand what his current situation is. And so I, I want to get an idea, an inventory of assets. So in, in business terms, I need to know what I'm playing with. If, if, if I'm playing with somebody that has no opportunity to expand or make more money, then you know they need to go find a life coach. They don't need a sales or business coach. But if I'm dealing with somebody who, you know, I ask, okay, what are your current resources? What uh, you know, do you work for someone? Great. Uh, do you have a business, or do, are you part of a network marketing? Do you have anything outside of your job where you can make money? Fantastic. Is your wife? Are you married? So I want to get an idea what their marital situation is. Because people will walk through a brick door for their spouse and their kids before they'll walk through a brick door for a car. Okay? So understanding their family situation is extremely important when you're looking at giving a free coaching session. Because at the end of the day, People will spend money on it for two reasons. Number one, to satisfy a desire, or number two, to relieve a pain. And people will spend 10 times more money to solve a pain than they will to get a want. And usually it comes down to not enough time with the family, stress in the family, uh, it's a money situation. A lot of problems are a money situation. And when you're talking about coaching somebody one-on-one -on -one in business and in sales, the very first thing we have to do is solve their money situation. And in order to, for me to solve it, I have to understand what their current situation is. So it goes like this. I'd say, okay, Joe, so let's hop right into it. So let me ask you some questions. I need to get an idea of what how, what your current situation is. So from a resources standpoint, uh, are you employed or do you own a business? You're employed. Okay. Is it salary plus commission, hourly plus commission? Okay, so it's hourly plus commission. And I'm taking notes when I'm talking to Joe, okay? Do you have a business outside of it? Oh, so you belong to a network marketing thing. Okay, fantastic. Oh, you're an EOI trainer. Okay, great. Did you, are you married? Does your spouse work? You're married. Okay. You have kids? Two kids. Fantastic. And so your wife is a nurse. Okay, great. How many? Okay, perfect. All right, let me ask you an honest question. And, and the more honest you can be with me, the better I can help you. And again, this conversation is completely confidential between us. Are your ends meeting right now? In other words, is the income coming into your home, are your, are your needs being met? Not quite, right? Okay, all right. So one of the first things that we're going to need to do is get your cash flow problem solved, right? All right, so I, I, I've got some ideas that I can help you out with this. You've got a job where you're in commission sales. Um, you have a multi-level marketing business. And then you're also an ELI trainer and your wife's a nurse. Your wife's income's probably fixed. There's not, 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 not much room there to grow that. But definitely in your job, in your MLM business, and as an ELI trainer, there's lots of different strategies I can train you on and teach you on uh, and systems that I can help you put in place where you can solve the cash flow problem relatively quickly. Let me ask you a quick question. How important is it for you to solve your cash flow problem right now? It's a qualifying question. Okay, You've got to qualify that. Okay, and so I listen. Okay, and so um, okay, perfect. All right, so I want to know what the cash flow situation is. So if you look at the sheet, I want I'm getting an idea of what his current cash flow situation is. It's going to give me an idea. Well, okay, 
how much can this guy afford as far as one-on-one -on -one coaching, number one. And number two is, you know, how can I help him get there? Because it's never a money issue, right? It's never going to be a money issue when it comes to hiring me, John, hiring as a coach. Because if he has assets, right, meaning he has a job that has commission, or he has a, an MLM business, or he has a, you know, in this guy's case, a, he's an ELI trainer, and he has the ability to go out and sell and represent somebody else's product. If that's the case, it doesn't matter where I take him on. I, heck, I can take him on at 50 bucks a month. It won't matter. The first month will be the 30-day period that I fix his cash flow problem. So never get discouraged when somebody can't pay you your full fee up front. It's your job as a coach to help them create the money. See, I look at it this way. If I help somebody pay for me, then guess what? They get to be my client for a long, long time. I've been coaching with Dave Vanny since 1996. I've been coaching with Mike Sastry since 2001 and then at a higher level and a higher rate since December 15th of 2005. And, and they cost a lot of money. Now, fortunately, I've been friends for Dave Vanny for a long time. It doesn't cost me any more money, but, but Mike's expensive. And I continue to pay Mike because Mike continues to get me results. We built $3 million companies with him. I'm building a fourth one. And so, of course, I'm going to continue to pay him because the dude's sharp as hell. Okay? And in business, you're going to run across situations where you're going to need coaching. So um, I want to get an idea what their cash flow situation. Next, I want to find out what opportunities they have. And so it kind of goes like this. Okay, so let's take a different turn real quick. What opportunities exist for you right now? So you've got your job where it's commission, right? So you have the ability to go out and sell. Are you satisfied with your current commission structure? So it's a percentage, right? Is there a ceiling to that? I want to ask you. No. Okay, good. All right, and then you got your MLM business. Let me ask you an honest question because here's the deal. The only way MLM works, the only way it works is if you believe in the product. Not your upline, not the system, not the company. Do you like the product? Great. Okay, so I've got some strategies with your MLM that you can make money next week. Okay, because it really comes down to if you like the product enough, going out and selling that product, the company will pay you the difference. See, the company is what's predictable. Okay, not your upline, not you. Okay, we're going to work on getting you to be predictable so you can now start seeing your dream and goal. Any other opportunities? Oh, you got your ELI trainer business. So not a problem. I'm a master at teaching how to do front of the room talks, conference calls, webinars, turning them into coaching clients. We can solve that problem really quick. All right. Talk to me about your current challenges. And then the next thing on my list is sales challenges. And I go, okay, talk to me about your current challenges. And he's going to say, you know, lead generation. If I only had more leads. If I only had more leads. You know, if you ever watched the movie Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, right? The whole movie is like, man, if we just had the Glenn Gary leads. And it's not about the leads. It's about getting a lead and walking them through a process and qualifying them. But in order to do that, a person's got to know why. Why? You know, why would they do that? And so whatever they, whatever they tell me, they, I write it down. Okay? And so, okay, lead generation. So what's your lead inventory right now? How many leads do you have? You only have 35. That's it? Okay, yeah, we're going to have to fix that problem right away. So I, I can have that problem fixed next week. Fantastic. What else? How are you, how are you at effectively uh, setting appointments? So the next thing on my item is I want to find out what his skill set is. So on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being your, you can teach me a thing or two, 1 being you have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, how are you on that scale as far as lead generation? Well, you only got 35 leads, so be honest, a 4 or 5, right? Okay, how about appointment setting? When you actually have a lead, what should you, do you have systems in place for setting appointments? How effective are you at setting the appointment? All right, let me ask you in a different way. Out of every 10 people you talk to, when you ask them for the appointment, how many of those turn into an appointment? 
two. Okay. Then what happened with the other eight? Okay, obviously some of them it wasn't a fit, but the ones that were a fit. Okay, so maybe what we need to do is look at your appointment setting script and what it is that you're seeing on the phone because we could fix that in a quick hurry. Lastly, on a scale of 1 to 10, how, <clears throat> how are you at closing the sale? So out of every 10 appointments that you run, how many of those are you closing? One. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to fix that too because if you want to make more money, you got to get you, there's basically three systems: lead generation, appointment setting systems, and lead conversion systems. So we're going to work on all three of those, and I'm a master at teaching those. I've been trained by the best, and so we're going to we're going to handle that. Okay. So I've got a clear picture of what your current situation is. Now I've got a clear picture of what his current situation is. Now I'm not going to solve his problem. I can give him five different lead generation systems right now to solve his problem. Okay? I can tell him exactly what he needs to do in his job, in his MLM business, and in his EOI trainer business to solve his problem right now. But if I do it, I will not close him on one-on-one -on -one coaching. Okay? What I gotta do is I gotta figure out okay why he wants to do any of this. And so it goes like this. All right, Joe, so now that I've got a clear picture of where you're at, I've got some really good ideas on how to solve these problems, but before we can solve the problem, I need to understand why it is that you do what you do. So let me ask you a question. Just play along with me on this. Let's say, let's say the powers that be, whoever you hold that to be, in my case, I hold it to be God, right? So let's say the powers that be came to you and said, hey, Joe, uh, you've done a great job. How old are you, Joe? 44. Okay. So, 44 years old. And so let's say the powers of be came to you and said, you know what, Joe? You've lived on this earth for 44 years. And you've done a great, draw, great job up to this point. But we know, and you know we know, that your best is yet to come. You have potential inside of you to perform at a higher level than the level you're currently performing at, right? And Joe's going to say yes to that, by the way. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take all obstacles out of the way. And we're going to give you unlimited cash flow. So we're going to give you a bank account, that, a debit card that's tied to a bank account that never expires. Okay, it has unlimited money. Okay, so no, money more, no more money challenges. Next, what we're going to do is everybody that's important to you, your family, your friends, anybody that you personally want to spend time with, we're going to give... Not only you, but we're going to give them perfect health. So we're going to take away all challenges. Now, here's the other thing that we're going to do, Joe. We're only going to give you one more year to take advantage of this. So at the end of this year, okay, your life's over. Okay, you're going to die one year from now, and your life is over. Okay, you got one year to take advantage of this opportunity, and then it's gone forever. Now. You've got to ask him this question, and that is, now, let's say that were the case, Joe. What would you do over this next year? And then I listen, and here's the reality of it is, I have yet, with the exception of my buddy Ron Ori, nobody has ever given me four th more than four things. It always comes down to spend time with my family, and then in that case, I take it deeper. Okay, you'd spend time with your family. What specifically would you, what would you do with your family? Most people will say something like, leave a legacy. So maybe write a book. Maybe build a business. Okay, in my case, if I only had one year left and I had unlimited money, I would buy multiple businesses that run without me. So my family's set up forever. Uh, there's a, a hidden message there for you. Um, write a book, leave a legacy. Those are the things that I get. And then I say, okay, Joe, so on the piece of paper, so on my notes here, I've got family, you would travel, you would go to Italy, Greece, Spain, you'd go on a cruise, you would basically spend time, right? Is there anything else that you would like to accomplish with your family, given that you only have one year? No. You would write a book, you would build a legacy, you would buy a business. Is there anything else that you would want to accomplish 
that year? No. Okay, so let me put this in priority. What would be number one? Family. Okay. What would be number two? My business. What would be number three? Write a book. What would be number four? Legacy. Okay. Fantastic. Is there anything else that's more important than these things? Qualify it. Okay. So here's, and then you gotta, you got to close it. you got to bring it down. Okay. So here's what I tell Joe. I go, hey, Joe, let me ask you a question. Okay. Obviously, you know, we don't know when, when, you know, we don't know how much time we have left. None of us do. Okay. But these are what we call dreams. These are the things that are the most important things. And you've got to give him an exercise. Because I promised him I'd give him something of value, at least one or two ideas that he can immediately benefit from. And getting crystal clear on his dream is the most important thing you can do for anyone. Because without somebody being crystal clear on their dream, nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. And so what I do is I say, okay, Joe, these are what we call dreams. The most important thing and I tell him, the most important thing you can do at this point, and here's my number one coaching tip for you today. Because see, I can solve all your sales problems. No problem. If you and I spend enough time together, I can make you number one in, on any sales team. I can help you build any business. Okay? But we don't have that time on today's call. But what we do have time to do is this. Over the next seven days, here's what I want you to do. I want you to sit down at least for a couple of hours, turn off the cell phone, no checking Facebook, unplug from the world, get away from the house if you have to, but I want you to spend time and clearly define these dreams. Because one of the things I know from experience, Joe, one of the things I know from working with lots of people building multiple businesses, unless I have a very clear, clear crystal picture of where I'm going and why I want to get there, the how-to is the easiest part, and it really doesn't matter unless I know why. So here's what I want you to do. Here's my coaching for you. Over the next seven days, I want you to take two hours out. I want you to sit down. I want you to write out what these things look like. Describe for me exactly what they look like. It needs to be crystal clear in your mind what they do. Now, there's a movie out there that can help you with this, and it's called The Secret. Have you ever heard of it? You haven't. Okay. So if you go to Amazon, you type in The Secrets by John Asaraf, and um, um, uh, it's a really good show. So... Watch the movie The Secret. There's some really good techniques and strategies in there on visualization. Now, there's a big component missing from that movie, and that is once you have your dreams for, you know, set aside, you actually have to go out and work your butt off. It, it's not in there because the, the, it's not the purpose of the movie. The purpose of the movie is, help, is to help you visualize and, and the law of attraction, okay? So <clears throat> can you do that? Over the next seven days, can you watch the movie The Secret? Can you spend time with you and your dreams and get crystal clear and create a dream board for yourself. Can you do that? Great. Now you got to qualify it. Will you do that? Great. And then give him accountability. Here's what I want you to do. Once you've completed this exercise, I want you to email me and put in the subject line, I completed the exercise. So two things. You're going to watch the movie The Secret. You're going to build your dream board. Okay, those are the two most important things you can do to fix your situation right now. Okay? The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a module, because your, your biggest challenge right now is lead generation. So I'm going to send you an audio module that's done by my mentor, Eric Lawful, and it's on lead generation. Okay? And that'll give you a chance to fix that. There'll be some ideas in there on lead generation. Okay? Can you get those things done over the next seven days? Great. Now what you need to do, in order to close this person, okay? Because this is my decision moment. 
do I want this person as a coaching client? And my qualification for a coaching client is number one, can I see myself working with this person and helping them achieve their dream? Am I, am, am I excited about their dream? That's the number one qualification for me. Number two is, do they have a dream? Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to help them get their dream and, and help them understand that I'm the guy that can help them get there. And here's how you do it. You want to take their dream and show them how you can get there. And here's how it goes. All right, Joe, let me ask you a question because in order for me to best help you, I've, uh, I've got to figure out okay what you're willing to do. So let's say the powers that be you know, let's say these are your dreams. And let's say we put these dreams in a box. And you're in California? Okay. This, this, we put these dreams in a box, and we're going to bury them in Central Park in New York City. So you're in Sacramento. We're going to bury them in a park in New York City, in Central Park. And all you got to do, Joe, is get from Sacramento, California, to Central Park, and you get your dreams. So I'm painting the picture. And then I ask, I have to ask him a question. What are you, what would you be, what would be your next move? And he's going to say something like, I'm going to hop on a plane. Okay? So most people, 90% of the time, are going to say, I would go and get on a plane. Okay, so you get on a plane. Great. Now here's where you close the door on any price objection he's gonna to have to coaching. Okay, so you get on a plane. Awesome. Well, I mean, the Latin, the last, you know, a last minute plane flight is expensive. I mean, it's the most expensive ticket you can get is a last minute plane flight. It, I mean, would that be, would that matter? And he's gonna say no to that. So it wouldn't. So it wouldn't matter what it costs if you knew that if you got to New York, you get your dreams, you would beg, borrow, or steal the money. Is that what I'm hearing you say? Yes. Great. I just closed the door on any price objection of coaching he has. He has demonstrated to me just now that he is willing to actually do the work for coaching. So whether I take him on at 50 bucks a month, 500 bucks a month, it doesn't really matter. Okay. He is willing to put, put money up to do it. He's willing to do the work. He's made, this is exactly what the purpose of that question. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. So let me change the scenario up for you. Let's say you actually had to own the vehicle to get from Cal Sacramento to New York. So do you have the money to buy a plane? And he's going to say no. Do you have the money to buy a boat? He's going to say no. Do you have the money to uh, buy a train? You, no, he's going to say no. Okay. Do you own a car? He's going to say yes. Here's the importance of that question. See, these are dreams. And you know what? People have the ability to achieve their dreams, and they have the vehicle to get there. So it's not a matter of the vehicle. Okay. And so I asked him, okay, so you have the so you have the vehicle to get from Sacramento to New York. Do you know how to get to New York? Off of memory. You don't. Okay? I'm not sure if you asked enough people along the way, you can get there, right? Or maybe you'd use a GPS. Right? Point is you would need help in order to get there and set the stage for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Right? Okay. Great. Fantastic. Okay. The challenge is, do you know where the dreams are buried? You don't. So you're going to need to ask somebody, right? Okay. So you knew the people to ask and you knew and you have the vehicle to get there and you know, you know where the thing is buried. How soon would you want to get going? I'm qualifying urgency. How soon would you want to get going? Right away, right? He's going to say right away. Fantastic. 
So do you think it would be a lot easier to get there if you synced up with one person that can sit in the passenger seat with you in the car and went the whole route with you and showed you exactly where it was buried? Do you think that would be an easier way? Now I'm setting up the stage for one-on-one -on -one coach. Yes. Well, Joe, that's who I am. I'm the guy sitting in the seat next to you to tell you, hey, turn here, turn there, turn there. Hey, you're dozing off. Let me drive for a little bit. You know, let's get some sleep. Uh, you know, okay, by the way, we're here. Here's the, here's the prize. That's the purpose, Joe, of a one-on-one -on -one coach. And I can definitely help you get along the way to your dreams and goals. Okay. And so the number one rule for hiring a coach, Joe, is you got to understand that person can help you get there, even if it's not the entire way, right? They can at least help you get further down the road. So let me ask you a quick question. Okay. So you would, you have the vehicle, meaning you have the ability to get there. You know what your dream is at. You know that I can help you get there. Okay. And so what's standing in your way? And he's going to come back and say, well, I mean, how does your coaching program work? He's going to ask you that. Say, so, okay, well, let me, ask you, let, me, let me ask you two questions, okay? Or if he doesn't ask that, I'm going to say, okay, so here, let's, let's, let's recap. Our, I closed down the coaching session. So let's recap the situation, Joe. You're, over the next week, you're going to spend an, uh, a couple of hours watching the movie The Secret and spinning on your dreams, right? Okay, I'm going to send you a module on lead generation, you can go through that and get some ideas on lead generation. Okay, will you do that? Great. Okay, now, here's a question. How do you think our session went today? I asked you, how do you think our session went today? Did you get a lot of value out of our session? It's going to say yes to that. Awesome. Fantastic. Great. Do you think I'm somebody that you would like to coach with? He's going to say yes to that. Would you like to hear how my ongoing coaching program works? He's going to say yes to that. Fantastic. And now I'm going to close. All right, so here's how it works. I only coach with 20 people at one time. Because of my speaking schedule, I don't take on any more than 20 people. I coach with people primarily on the phone, unless you come to me or you fly me out to you and I'm cool with traveling, okay? I guarantee the coaching. How the guarantee works is this. If working with it, you know, when you and I work together, in the first 30 days of working together, if you don't feel like you've received, you know, help, value, right? If you don't feel like you've received value for the first 30 days, I'll give you a full refund. After the first 30 days, it just goes month to month. And you can stay in the program as long as you're receiving value. Because let's face it, if you're not getting value from it, two things are happening. Number one, you're either not doing the work or your coach doesn't know what he or she is doing. Okay? And most of the time, it's the person not doing the work. Okay? Sometimes you, you have a coach that, that doesn't know what they're doing. But in my case, I know what I'm doing. So if you actually do the work I'm telling you, you're not going to have to pay me beyond the first month because your customer is going to pay me out of their profits. Okay? The other thing I do is I put my money where my mouth is at. So my normal coaching fee is 500 bucks a month. But for the first month, I'm going to cut the fee in half. So it's only 250 bucks for the first month. It's guaranteed money. Okay? So no risk on your part. The risk, it's, it's a mutual risk that we're both taking because I'm going to coach you to where you don't have to pay me again. I'm going to find out in the first 30 days if you're willing to do the work. Because if you do the work that I'm talking about and you literally focus on doing it, you're not going to have to pay me anymore. If you have to pay me out of your own pocket after the first 30 days, I can guarantee you we can look back and it'll be because you didn't do the work. Okay. I only have two slots available left, left right now. How we coach is we'll pick a time on the phone where we'll spend two hours of structured coaching. So in your situation, given your current situation, the goals and objectives that you have, 
the best fit for you would be three weeks on, one week off. So three 45-minute sessions, and then we take a week off. And they're minimum sessions. Sometimes they may go longer, sometimes they may go shorter, depends on the situation. The other thing is, I don't want you waiting for a coaching session to make an important decision. And so, because of that, I'm going to give you unlimited text access to me, and I'm going to give you unlimited phone access to me. And I get calls all throughout the day from my clients, you know. I don't get back to them right away sometimes, but I get back to them within 24 hours for sure. And so the question comes down to be, I only got two slots left, so the question comes down to be is, would you like to be one of the 20 I work with? And that's it. And if he says yes, so he's going to say yes, and about 90% of the time that I use this, tech, this process, 90% of them say yes. So here's what you want to do when they say yes. Okay, great. <clears throat> so here's what we need to do. Let's pick a time for our first coaching session. Okay, so next week at Tuesday at 2 o'clock. Fantastic. Okay, three things are going to happen. I'm going to send you an email. I'm going to summarize everything I talked about as far as my coaching program is concerned. All I need you to do is respond back to that with, I agree to hire John Pyron as my coach. Can you do that? Great. Next is I'm going to create a private conference call line. I use a, I use a, uh, a free service called Start Meeting. So if you go to startmeeting.com, that's the service I use. I'm going to create a private uh, drive letter for us, okay, through Google Drive, and I'm going to, you're going to get an email for that. The email that you're going to get with explain my coaching program is going to have our conference call line in there, and then I'll explain to you how to get access to the calls after our first coaching session. And, and then I close it down. I go, you know what, okay, finally, you know, what credit card would you like to use for the first uh, 250 and to take down the credit card number. Okay, today is the 18th of July. I'm going to charge it today. And then every month, it's going to charge on the 18th until you tell me otherwise. Okay? All right. I'm excited about working with you. I'm looking forward to next week. Don't forget, you have unlimited text access and unlimited phone access. You can call me anytime before our next coaching session, okay? All right, buddy. I'll talk to you later. Have a great one. Bye-bye. And then I hang up the phone. Okay, and that's how you do an initial, you know, a free coaching session, okay? And so, hope you got a lot out of this module. On the next module, I'm going to teach you how to do the first coaching session.